hello and welcome to the channel my name is Annalisa and this is going to be a harvest vlog which means I'm going to show you a little fall montage of colored leaves and fall rainbows and then I'm going to take you out to the garden and show you me harvesting some petals and some squash enjoy So it's quite bright, so I'm squinting, but it's time to harvest the acorn squash. The butternut squash, most of it isn't quite ready, but a few are ready, so uh, let's do it. So some of the squash are kind of hidden and some are more out in the open. Um, sometimes you have to feel around with your foot and if you hit something hard, that means it's a squash. And you can tell they're ready because their they're, um, stem is all shriveled up and it's not growing anymore. I've already gathered a few here amidst the garden junk and uh, we have several acorn squash and one two butternut squash and I'm using gloves this time because when I first came out here to harvest some of these I got a bunch of guck on my hands and then they had an allergic reaction because I'm allergic to many things so see here, this butternut squash is still growing. You can just faintly see the stripes are still there. That means it's not ripe yet. It's also fairly small. Whereas like this one, the, the uh, stripes are getting pretty faint. So, uh, and it's also quite large. This is the size of my gloved hand next to it. Um, so I think I'm gonna pick that one. Versus this one is pretty large, but it still has the stripes, so I'm gonna leave it. And this squash is trying to grow up in my rows, which I think I'm gonna have to trim it back until it, it's not allowed to do that. This rose is doing well. I think I'm gonna pick that one and that one and take them inside, and a few of these as well. And over here we have a pumpkin. But pumpkins, we generally don't pick until we need them for jack-o'-lanterns or until it freezes, whichever comes first. You might notice that this one I've already picked has stripes on it, but it was so big that if we let it get any bigger on the vine, it will be difficult to cook. Um, so we decided to pick it and let it ripen off the vine, which squash can generally be counted on to do. The last of the sunflower petals are getting ready to fall off, so I'm going to harvest some of them to press. We're doing this on the floor because that's the easiest place. So you got your pile of petals, you got your pile of paper ripped into the size of a book page. Doesn't matter what kind of paper, preferably something cheap and uh, you don't want anything textured because it'll leave a texture on the petals. And then you have your book which in this case is The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. Um, something you own and that hopefully you got cheap because uh, it's possible that the flower juices will leak out and stain the book. 
So, let me stick that on there. Lay them out like so. I'm going to have to do two pages worth because I've got a lot of petals. Stick the next page on there. And this is what it looks like when they're finished. This is a bunch of sunflower petals with a few other flowers. And this is what it looks like in resin. I most often use the uh, sunflower petals to make the yellow part of a rainbow. Then you gotta stick your book underneath a big pile of books like this. It doesn't have to be this big. I generally let them dry for about a month. You might be in a bit more hurry if you're just starting out. Um, but I have a nice backlog of petals and when they're dry they go in my box of petals which smells very nice when I open it. One last note, the petals are very delicate once they're dried so be very uh, delicate with your handling them at, them at this stage and generally the paper you used will be reusable because there'll just be a few flowery bits left on and uh, the moisture will have evaporated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!